wearing a condom because I have a dirty mind. What's going on YouTubers? It's the kid here from the Kids Corner and today I'm just going to do something a little different. Uh, I do like playing the Real Flight Simulator uh, as I was pretty big into helicopters and airplanes uh, you know the past few years but now I've kind of uh, shied away just because I don't really have the time uh, nor the patience to uh, fix you know some of the errors that actually happen and when you crash so lately I've just been playing on the sim and I felt like making a video for you guys just to show you what I normally do on my spare time uh, when I'm not making videos and I want to do something so usually I just go fly around nothing you know spectacular I'm no 3d stunt guy but uh I, <clears throat> I feel like I'm relatively comfortable with the stick so a oh, 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 oh. little too much there but uh normally when I've done research on uh, real flight videos uh, the people that post normally don't do any live commentary so if you guys do like this stuff and uh, you know hopefully the more time that I can actually play <clears throat> um, on this game I'd actually get better but um, if you guys do like the live commentary and, you know, just this random stuff, uh, just let me know so I can, you know, put out more videos for you guys. Uh, because I do like this sim and, you know, everything that it has to offer. Um, I mean, I, I wasn't this good, um, for a long time. Uh, <clears throat> definitely airplane, or helicopters took a lot longer for me to get used to. And, um, but, you know, airplanes are relatively simple. Basically, you just set your throttle more or less and then just play with the right stick. Uh, if you are in mode 2, that's a US version. Um, but helicopters, it's, it's more or less, you touch, um, oh, almost crashed there. Uh, you touch one control and the other three are affected, so... Uh, that was a little bit harder to pick up, but uh, I'll, I'll get into showing you some of the uh, helicopter stuff uh, in just a little bit, but I figured uh, I might as well try something. So here I'm going to try to come into a... actually I'll come around again, try to come into a hover <clears throat> and uh, see how good I do at that today. Sometimes I'm good at it, sometimes I'm bad. Uh, it's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Nope, didn't get it that one. You normally have a hard time coming at me to start into a hover, which is weird. I don't know why I have such a hard time. Come on, quit going away from me. Thank you. I'll bring it closer to me a little bit. Now this plane, I don't know if, yeah, you know what, I'm going to change plane, because I don't even know if this is, uh, you know, one of them that is supposed to even hover. Um, I hate that guy. That guy stinks at hovering. Now I'm going to do the Yak 3D, and no, I'm not doing the gyro. It's a Yak 3D. Bam. <clears throat> I'll go straight into a hover. And this took me, uh... Oh, quite a while to actually learn how to hover uh, relatively consistently. Uh, by no means am I perfect at it, but I feel like I can actually, you know, hold a, a relatively comfortable hover. Um, and then sometimes I can actually go into the. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go with a crash. Figures, but um, normally I can go into a torque roll and uh, actually survive it. But uh, maybe just, you know, not concentrating fully and trying to speak. Uh, just throwing it off a little bit today. <clears throat> but uh, we'll get out of that, go into a little knife edge. Uh, I don't really know what else to do with planes. 
I don't like doing all the other crap with them. Like, I don't really care for four point rolls. It's just I'm not really technical with it. Uh, I just like, you know, flying it around and trying to push to the, you know, my limits. And, um, you know, not have to worry about the repair cost or, you know, seeing it happen in real life. So it's fun. This, I mean, the, the simulator is awesome. Especially if you got a nice big monitor to play on, it makes it really feel like you're actually in the, um, you know, out in the real world. Now I am using the uh, the real flight um, controller, so it's not like I'm using the keyboard or anything. It's legit, and I have to say it, it's a relatively nice controller. I believe it's a Futaba style, or, or it's uh, modeled after the Futaba series, so it's 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 a comfortable um, radio, but by no means is it really that good. I uh, I tried back when I, you know, used to own the Spectrum DX7, I tried hooking that up and just didn't really like the feel of playing a sim and then, um, you know, having my heavy DX7 radio, um, you know, sitting there to actually control it. So, as you can see, the landing was decent, uh, a little farther away, but it's alright, we'll pull it over. Uh, break it in front of us, and we will switch over to the heli. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to start with the Dominion. Uh, just because I really like this guy. Spent my most of the, most of the time with him. And normally I just go straight into uh, <clears throat> idle up 2 and fly around, but we'll start in regular normal mode. And... Um, I remember the first time, you know, hovering, or trying to hover, and it was ridiculously hard. Um, it was just, it was almost like I was trying to worry about every little single drift, um, you know, trying to control it, and that's definitely not something that you want to worry about. Just kind of, kind of lazily just, you know, let it hover around and do its thing, but uh, don't, you know, try to keep it perfect. Um, but yeah, just nice and easy, let it, you know, take its time, just wiggle around. It's alright, I mean, I'm no expert, like I said, but I think I can hold my own at least a little bit. Yeah, let's just go right into the good stuff. And normally I start off with a uh, half pirouette when I come up. Oh, that was that was sloppy. But I do I do enjoy flying uh, helicopters a lot more. It's because they're they're more uh, versatile. I like I can fly forwards, backwards, inverted, uh, you know, normal. A lot more trick and uh, technical maneuverabilities that you can actually do. But, I don't know, I just I've always been intrigued by them. And uh, now that I'm actually uh, relatively getting to know it, uh, it's pretty nice to know that I can actually, you know, handle a helicopter just in the sim. Um, it's been a while since I've actually tried a helicopter in real life. Um, and I don't think I'll be doing one anytime soon. But, uh, yeah. So in real life, what do I have? I have two uh, airplanes, um, you know, ready to fly at the moment. I have a Precision Aerobatics. Um, oh, man. Uh, I forgot. It's not the MX. Is it an extra? It's the black and yellow one. It's the 420. Oh, man. Any other time of day, I could actually tell you, but right now I'm having a brain fart. But it's, um... It's their... Their step down from the extra MX. I, I don't I can't think of it. Something 420. I don't know if it's the extra 420, but it's black and yellow. I bought it used off of eBay, pre-built. Um, and the seller didn't, uh, you know, pack it well. And the tail, um, half of the elevator... 
on the tail um, got crushed because it's a it's balsa and carbon construction. So when I got it, I had to do some repair work with it, and I was very careful. Peeled back the um, the monocoat and and whoa, what the hell am I doing? What the hell? What orientation am I in? Oop, there we go. It's confused there. Uh, pulled back the monocoat, glued up the balsa, real light, you know, a light um, little tax with uh, CA, and it um it's been doing great since so. The, uh, the only problem with that airplane right now is something's up with my power system and I'm using um, a Monster Monster 40 or Monster 60, I forget which one, um, from Hobby Parts. And I'm using a um, Eternity Plush, no, an Eternity, um, I haven't looked at it in a while, it's not, it's the... It, it might be the plush. I forget which one, because I've had a few um, Turner GESCs. But uh, it's the 60 amp handles up to 6S, and I've only run 3S, because that's what the uh, Precision Aerobatics recommends to run with the... There we go, crashing. Uh, recommends to run with the airplane, and it just seems like there's not enough oomph. <clears throat> And I don't know if it's, you know, I'm only running 3S, or if it's because, um, uh, what was I going to say? If it's because the motor is just, you know, the KVs are too low, or if I'm not using the correct prop pitch, but it's, you know, I've, I've based my figures off of what their recommended package is, and I just didn't want to buy their, you know, thrust series motor and you know ESC package just because it was a little too expensive for what I wanted to spend but um other than that running Metal Gear servos uh, the plane is awesome construction is just beautiful on it the carbon is it's pretty cool to see you know carbon fiber in um you know, an airplane which is nice and then my second plane uh, right now is um Um, the was made by Great Plains. It's the uh, Sequoia SU31. I got it uh, on sale from their site for seventy-nine or eighty-nine dollars. Uh, it was on sale, and then I had a coupon, free shipping, uh, and I took a nice long while to build that guy. I built it up real nice, um, and the plane's amazing. Uh, took it out for its maiden flight, and it flew like I just I immediately went into you know trying to hover it, um, you know going inverted, uh, knife edging it, all that good stuff, and um, it was a great flight, and I ran it for about like six minutes. Wanted to come in and check the battery. I landed. Came in a little hot, and the way where I was uh, flying was a um, a cul-de-sac, and they had uh, square granite curbs. Came in just a little hot, rolled, touched the curb, and my prop didn't stop spinning. And it was an APC prop, um, by all means, and the prop must have just hit enough, you know, hard enough to snap the blade. Or, you know, one of the, the blades of the prop, and that was out of commission for a little while until I, um, I actually, you know, went out and picked up another prop, and since then I hadn't flown it again. It was at the end of the season, it got real cold, and I don't like flying in the cold, so I decided to, uh, you know, put it to sleep for the winter, but, um, I've been wanting to get it back out. And I just haven't since, um, just haven't really found the time for it just yet, but hopefully I can find something soon, just because I, I would like to take them out. Uh, I miss flying, it's, it's nice, especially doing it on like Saturday, Sunday morning, barely any cars out, do it at like 6 o'clock in the morning, 
Uh, it's just, it's awesome. Um, and I do, I'm trying to learn the VTOL stuff, but it's, it's weird. I don't quite understand how to, uh, to control it when you're, um, or V-pitch, sorry. VTOL is the vertical takeoff. Um, I don't really understand what to do when the plane starts going backwards. I can't actually figure it out, um, for some reason. Um, so just been kind of practicing slowly with it. I'm just going to try to find something. Uh, and I do like the controller. Uh, it does have the ability, here I'll show you. I do have their, um, their Elite controller. So I do have the ability to use my knob and control the flaps at any setting, which is nice. Uh, I can use the landing gear, as you can see. I don't want to, you know, break the prop, but I have the ability to change that high-low rates, as well as, um, the switches for idle up if I'm in um, helicopter mode or and I believe does that yes it also um, shuts off smoke and does the uh, the V pitch stuff in airplanes if it has that ability enabled but the uh, one cool thing about like these old school warbirds um, is they're way overpowered um, this thing's humming. It's got to be doing. I didn't put up the the menu little setup window, but it's got to be doing a hundred something, which is, is is crazy. It doesn't seem that fast, but it's cruising along. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have you know liked this video. Uh, if you do, let me know, and I will put up some more for you. I'm sure I'll I'll put up some more anyways. Um, in the future but if you guys really do like it or you want me to test out um, some more planes or tricks and stuff you know see how I can actually learn uh, let me know because I would like to try to do some more stuff of this and that was a little rough but it's alright so thank you guys for watching um, please check out my other videos if you do like what I have to offer uh, please subscribe if you have not already and I will see you later thanks